You finally realize your husband's not going to change. So what is the solution? What are you going to do from here? First, you have to ask yourself, honestly, are you okay with leaving? Are you okay with walking away from this? Because he's not going to change. He's not going to give you what you want. It's been X amount of years that you've been asking for the same thing over and over and over again. Because if he cared, he would have changed the first time you asked. He, if he cared, he would have changed the first time you came to him with issues. Or at least he would have attempted to want to work on them. So the this begs the question, why are you asking him to change only now that you're already married to the guy? Why didn't you not ask him to change before you got married? Besides, you cannot change people. You cannot ask people to change. People don't change unless they are ready to change. And usually they don't do it unless there's a really good enough reason. So the fact that she put up with this the entire time, really, uh, that's on her. And FYI, I, I can't stand when I hear women going, oh, why, you know, he needs to change, he needs to change. What about you, right? What do you need to change? Have you asked yourself that? I mean, is there any sense of humility in these modern women who talk about how my husband needs to change, not my husband needs to change, but also this is what I need to work on. This is what I need to change, right? I need to do some things differently outside of, oh, I'm divorcing him and taking all his stuff. Okay, uh, so yes, the, this, uh, the bigger question is, what do you need to do, right? Besides quit. <laughs> but he doesn't because it's benefited him to not do those things. Now you realize that. Now what do we do? Do you have- It's not benefiting him to hear you nag all the time. Have the ability to leave. If you don't have the ability to leave, whether financially or because you have kids, um, you have to just start living life for yourself. Oh this God, is- here we go. Terrible advice. No, if you have kids, you do not live life for yourself. You live life for those kids, okay? All right? You can't just live for you and me, me, me. No, you have to think about those kids. If you have a husband, you have to think about him. Okay, and these people are just getting married all willy-nilly and not wanting to deal with the responsibilities of being in marriage. Mostly women, I would say. Mostly these women. They don't want to be told what to do. They don't want to be told, you know, they don't want to be given any responsibility in a relationship. Like, hey, can you at least vacuum today? Can you at least, you know, uh, take the kids' baseball practice? They don't want any responsibility. Okay, and the second you ask them to do one little thing, they freak out, right? They turn into complete snowflakes. Literally, your only life. And if you can't leave, then you have to start living it for yourself. And if you can leave, if you have the means to leave, if you have the choice, you have to take a hard look and you have to really evaluate if you're willing to give up this relationship. Are you willing to leave a relationship that you have likely been in for a long time, that you have found comfort in, that is comfortable right now? There we go with the comfort, right? These women will leave a comfortable situation, okay? A situation that, you know, I, I mean, there doesn't look like she's being physically abused or anything. It just sounds like she doesn't like the fact that she can't control him. That's what she doesn't like. Okay, let's, let's continue. Because you're unhappy and you know that it won't get better. That's the honest question you have to ask yourself. And that is by far the hardest question. Like she's putting all the responsibility on her husband. What about you? What are you doing? What are his complaints? This is why I, you cannot trust these women on their TikToks or their social media complaining about the husband. You can't just listen to them and go, oh yeah, he sounds awful. He sounds awful, girl. No, you have to be a little more introspective and see that all these women share the same pattern. They act blameless. They act like they do nothing wrong. They act like it's all this other person's fault. Okay, and whenever they do that, I can tell right away, she's biased, she's trying to paint this picture as if it's only him, when I guarantee pff, a lot of it is her. You have so many things to consider. But only you can decide what you're willing and able to tolerate. Okay, and the thing these women don't ever, ever think about while they're, you know, devising their plans to leave their husband, they don't think of the alternative. They don't think of, okay, if I divorce him, what happens next? Instead, okay, instead, they, they, they tell themselves, like, 
oh, it's going to be so awesome. I'm going to be able to go travel. I'm going to be able to have all the guys I want at my fingertips. Oh, I don't need him. Oh, guys, check me out all the time. I don't need him and all this other stuff. Guys, DM me all the time. I don't need him. Not realizing that, you know, 99% of those guys just want to get laid and they don't want anything else from you. Why? Because you're DG. You've already been married and divorced. You probably have kids in tow. No guy wants to commit to that. Guys will sleep with that, but they won't commit to it. And that's where women mistakenly... <laughs> Make the, you know, humongous error believing that guys who sleep with them will stick around. No, they don't. They don't. Okay, but these women never tell each other like, hey, have a plan after this. I mean, it's like leaving a job. If you're leaving a good paying, stable job. Okay, imagine you have a good paying, stable job. You get a paycheck every week. Nothing's wrong. You know, of course, no job's going to be perfect. But overall, you know, I've got a great job. Stable I've been working here a long time. I got my health benefits. I got my 401k. Uh, you know, I'm being promoted. You know, it's okay. Imagine suddenly just getting up and going, I'm going to quit this job. I'm going to quit this job next week. But not having another plan, another, you know, another job to jump to or something better, something better in line. No. Imagine you're just going to quit and then. I'm just going to cross my fingers, things work out. No, you'll slowly go broke or quickly go broke. And then next thing you know, you're homeless. And then your whole family's going, why did you leave that job, dumbass? Oh, I had to do me. Self-love, self-love. They weren't promoting me fast enough. You know, I wasn't making a living wage. You know, and whatever. Regardless, let's go on the next clip. Here we go. So one of the top reasons that women resent their husbands and file for divorce is because she gets up and someone needs something. She goes to work and someone needs something from her. She gets home and there's someone who needs something from her. And if she's a mom, baths have to be done, homework needs to be done, lunches need to be made, something has to be prepared for dinner. God forbid that you have responsibility. I, let's be honest, guys. That's what this all boils down to. Women don't want any responsibility and they don't want any accountability, but they want all the power and control that comes with it, right? They want power, but they don't want any responsibility or consequences that come with it. I mean, even just having a, a dog, you're going to have responsibility. You're going to have to take that dog walking. You're going to have to feed that dog. You're going to have to pick up poop every now and then. I mean, you're going to have to do these things, right? I have dogs. I do these things, right? I'm a Lamborghini owner, a multimillionaire. I'm still like in the park like everybody else picking up poop, right? I'm still like everybody else having to clean up my place and do stuff like that. Clean up Gizmo's hair everywhere. It gets everywhere. I love you, Giz. Um, I'm not complaining about those things because that's part of the duty that comes with it. And, you know, depending on how you look at it, a lot of times, you know, even though it is hard work, it's rewarding. Right? I'm not going to sit there and yap about it. I mean, this is just ingratitude, what she's talking about. I mean, these are her own kids. So, oh my gosh, I have to bathe them? Oh my gosh, I have to actually take like, help with homework? What? The kitchen needs to be cleaned. The toys need to be picked up. And let's be real, the laundry and dishes never end. And she feels like her husband isn't helping. She's a uh, yeah, he's helping by going to work. Okay, He's helping by going to work. This is your job, you know, and so many of these women talk about, like, he's not helping, he's not doing his thing. Uh, these guys, you know, pretty much most guys out there would um, step in front of a, a bullet to protect their wives, to pre even protect their girlfriends, you know? I mean, you're forgetting about that, 24-7 security, as well as all the other things that he does, right? She doesn't, she doesn't mention... Um, the fact that her husband probably helps with the cars, probably fixes the cars, do, you know, does all the finances, and do, does the things that we are naturally good at as men, right? But this is what you get when you get a woman who is ungrateful, right? She's just not appreciative of you as a man and what you bring to the table. Right? It's very sad. Very, very sad. Exhausted. She's overwhelmed and she feels alone. Uh, she's exhausted. Overwhelmed feels alone that she has those duties that every parent on the planet has. Cry me a river, you friggin' snowflake. This is why I tell you guys, modern women are so soft, right? I don't hear good women complain about this, right? Even if they do, it's not a big deal to them, 
right? I mean, they're not going to get on their TikTok and sit there and talk about just, these are just basic things. Imagine, you know, you getting on your uh, social media and complaining about, I have to charge my phone. Sometimes the plug doesn't work. And I have to go, like, get up from playing video games and go plug it into the wall and then sit down again. You know, I lost track of my game. That's what these chicks sound like. They're just whiners, right? Just a bunch of big babies. A bunch of whining little babies. I mean, you're supposed to be a grown adult. It's like saying, oh my gosh, I have to pay bills. I spent money on my credit card. Now I have to pay it. Well, hello. Welcome to adulthood. She's afraid to ask for help because he's dismissed her feelings so many times before. So what's the point? By the time her spouse realizes, it's too late. It's too late, poor guy. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I mean, the fact that... <sighs> yeah, the fact that this chick is sitting there, you know, getting some sort of dopamine rush from her uh, ripping on husbands and, you know, just for basic duties that a woman should do, that a wife should do, right? You never hear men complain, like, I have to go to work and feed my family. Son of a bitch! Man, why do I have to do this? <laughs> You know, no, you don't hear guys complain about this. Oh my gosh, I have to take my kid to the park and teach him how to throw a ball. Ah! You know, oh my kid, he's finally old enough to ride a bike. Son of a gun, I have to go teach him how to ride a stupid bicycle. No, you don't hear that, right? You don't hear that. But from these modern women, oh my gosh, n never ending. Never ending complaining. Never appreciative of anything. Just yap, complain, complain, complain. Drop your comments below, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. So until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out here with the Lamborghini. Such a beautiful car. Just got this car and we're going to be featuring it here on the channel for many months and many years to come. So get used to it. And yes, I still have the DeLorean. DeLorean is not going anywhere. But we are going to enjoy this car for many years to come while we have it here on the channel. Um, just picked this car up, had it delivered basically a week ago. The same guy who delivered my DeLorean, TJ, at Florida Exotic Transport. He also delivered the Lamborghini for me. Um, you can also follow me on IG at Macross Official if you want to see the entire process of me purchasing this car. I'll probably do a full review on my Alpha channel, which should be fun. I'll have that up momentarily if it's not up already. This car is just amazing right i was on the hunt for this car for over two years and then finally when it popped up it took me over two and a half months to close this deal and get this car at the right price where i felt comfortable they felt comfortable letting it go uh, this is in rasa festo red this car is finished in rasa festo red which is one of the rarest colors for lamborghini it's a fourteen thousand eight hundred and eighty dollar option gorgeous looks really good Ugh. but going to be featuring it in a lot more coaching videos here on the channel so I'm very excited about it as you can see as you can see but as always gentlemen don't forget to smash that like button smash the subscribe button and smash that notification bell as well so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube more importantly guys make sure that subscribe to the channel please right helps me out a ton when you guys actually subscribe and you don't just take off on me right so make sure you're subscribed to the 33 secrets as well this is in the right color too right this is basically the color of the 33 secrets right here right? i should put a big 33 logo right on the hood I just piss off all the modern women out there in any case for you guys who want to support my work and everything I'm teaching you here, all of this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I've been teaching you for years and years, if I've added value to your life, if you love what I do here, the best way to support me is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world now are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making it happen every single week. I want you to join us. I want you to become one of us, right? We should all be driving Lamborghinis. 
in any case that's the best way to support my work guys all you need to do is click the link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it just takes two seconds so do that now and i will see you in my next coaching video i'm out man this car is gorgeous isn't it look at that Woo. Oh, goodness gracious, what a ride.